Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys and welcome to Is That Your Hair? I create hair, fashion, and lifestyle content that will encourage you to be your very best self. So if you're with that, you're in the right place. So today I'm reviewing a brand new unit by Utre. Her name is Katiana and she's from the Melted Hairline series. I was automatically intrigued by this unit because I could tell there was some yak in this. So I was excited. I was like, you know what? Let's go Katiana. I have two colors here today. I have Katiana in the Havana Brown and I have her in the Creamy Mocha. If you know me, y'all know that I love color and I love blonde units. So if you are a brown skin baddie like me and you've been hesitant about the color, you're also in the right place because I'm definitely here to encourage you to step outside of the 1Bs and the number 2s and venture out a little bit and that's what we're doing here today. I especially love when texture units come in different colors. It really makes me happy and Outre is known for giving us very vibrant, vivacious colors. This will be my first time trying the Creamy Mocha. I actually first saw it on Shanice Nicole and she looked outstanding in it so I was like I gotta try that color one day and I'm finally doing it look Shanice I got her if you want to see me in more textured wigs definitely check out my textured wig playlist it'll be linked down below this wig also is a little bit textured there's some yak in it this is something that I picked up for $20 Tuesday it's an Amazon wig but there was a little interesting. Just, just watch the review first before you even consider buying it. Please, I will link it in the description box. Also, y'all, I am going live on Amazon all this month, November and December, okay? So click the link, follow my Amazon storefront so you can be notified. And, you know, come hang out with me. All right, y'all, let's hop right in. We have Miss Katiana here. Two combs in the front, a comb in the back, adjustable straps, and it has the elastic band. I'm looking at the hairline and um, there's baby hairs and it looks like they pre-pucked it a little bit, but it's definitely nowhere near like melted hairline standards. I don't know. This is something I've been noticing in other people's reviews. Oh, Trey, what's going on with melted hairline and the, the hairline? Like, why isn't it as pre-plucked as it used to be? I've definitely noticed that. I, I don't like that it's become inconsistent in that way because the name, you know, melted hairline. I really hope that they can fix that. Like, I want to see the hairline on the likes of Utre Aaliyah. This hairline, y'all. Do you see this? This looks extremely natural. That hairline was pre-plucked to perfection. I know y'all can do it, Outre, so go on, let's get it together. But we're gonna hop in right here. I'm gonna take off this cutie on my head. And y'all see, I don't even have any glue on. This is definitely a plop on and go. And let's just try this on to see what it's looking like. Ooh, wait. Time out, time out, time out. Oh, creamy mocha. Okay, so this is this is giving ash blonde. But time out, this feels. Oh, hold on, I got some tangling, y'all. I am absolutely here for this color, but I noticed that it's super dry, especially compared to the have a Havana Brown. Yeah, not sure about that. I think it's just due to the color processing but i can soften this unit up you can definitely apply heat to your synthetic wigs to soften it up a little bit and i especially like the combination of using my simply styling silicone spray if you know me y'all know i love this spray so i'm gonna do that when i start to style it i'm also going to use my revlon blow dryer brush which i adore i love that brush so much because i can smooth out my textured units without sacrificing the texture so you'll notice like sometimes if you use a flat iron on kinky straight synthetic wigs it'll just go straight especially if the heat is very high but with my revlon blow dryer brush i can keep the texture intact so if you guys are ready to see how this looks on me after i style her up i'm gonna bring the music on and yeah just keep on watching
y'all so i am back with katiana in the creamy mocha color and i have a few things to say so let's start with the pros the main pro to this unit for me is the color i love this ash blonde the way they blended it i mean it's it's a beautiful beautiful blend if you are a deep brown complexion i'm telling you please 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 step on over to the blonde side and you don't even have to start with a color like this you can start with a honey brown maybe even like a 430 mix and then just take it from there i'm telling you it just complements our skin so well of course depending on your undertone some blondes will mesh better than others but you'd be surprised how many will look good on you so if you've been wanting to experiment with color consider this your sign although i did notice with this color in particular like even though i like the way this looks right here i don't really care for these highlights here in the back like you see how streaky this looks and i've seen outre do this before with some of their highlights it's very chunky and i like highlights i'm just not a chunky highlight kind of person i like mine's more like fine and blended into the unit so i'm just a little particular that right there i could do without that that's why i just swung it to the back you see me just swing it <laughs> and i just want this part to show because this is what i like <laughs> think oh my gosh look at this blend honey you're telling me this is synthetic times have changed because if you've been rocking synthetic wigs for as long as i have which has been six years now i've seen a lot and the way that synthetic wigs have stepped up their game when it comes to color blends i am so impressed so kudos to utre for always pushing the bar when it comes to our texture you know like type 3 type 4 textures and also including us in the color wheel like I sincerely appreciate that for me that was my main pro as far as cons like I said this is from the melted hairline series to me compared to what they have done before you guys are looking at this this is giving very much round it's not giving pre-plucked in the way that I know the melted hairline series is to me that's a bit disappointing because I've tried so many of their wigs at one point I was able to confidently say this is my favorite synthetic collection right about now I don't know as I've been seeing the inconsistencies it's really bothering me it'd be one thing if it's just like their regular synthetic lace front wig but if you're gonna be melted hairline series like come on i'm gonna need you to bring it a little bit more because i'm pretty sure sensational what lace is tiptoeing around the corner about to drop some shit i just like when companies are consistent i would like to see different next time another con to me is the texture of this unit i've tried a lot of textured synthetic wigs y'all i have an entire playlist please go check it out i'm sure you'll see something you like there and this is not the softest However, I think it's due to the fact that this is so blonde and there's various blondes in here. It's it's a unique blend. I do have like remedies to make it better. Y'all already know I love my Simply Style silicone spray. And for me, one, this helps greatly with detangling, but also it really just smoothens out the hair and makes it softer. And then combined with heat, I think it performs so well. If you haven't picked this up, I don't know what you're waiting for. It's linked in the description box. I need everybody to know about that silicone spray. So that helped along with my Revlon blow dryer brush, which a lot of y'all know that I love. There was recently a sale on it that I posted about in my community tab. That's another thing. Make sure you're watching my community tab because I'm trying to be more diligent with posting different sales that I find as I'm just shopping around. So yeah, I think that definitely helped with this wig as far as the texture but just know fresh off the bat it, it's it's given me i don't want to say like cankle on braiding hair but it's giving me like a step above that if that makes sense and that's not what i want to see on the melted hairline series like no no that's not what i want to see oh one pro that i did forget to mention as far as the hairline right one thing i love about the melted hairline series is that it gives pretty good coverage like right along here this doesn't come down as far on my earlobe as other wigs but it does come pretty low as you can see here 
If you have a lower headline, I think the melted hairline wigs are a great choice. I snipped it off because I just didn't need that much lace on my forehead. As far as the cap size, right now this is fitting very snug, but I am using the elastic band. Without the elastic band, I think it'll be a little bit roomier. Maybe like medium to big head friendly, something like that. I'll watch other reviews just to make sure. Overall, I like the way I'm looking as I look at myself on camera. I love the color on me, right? But I'm, I'm still not in love with it, if that makes sense. Oh, also, who knew about this? Did y'all know that Evan Wonderlace had a black bottle? I've seen the yellow, the red, but who knew they had the, the extra firm hold supreme? I don't know how new this is, but I found out about it through the Wig Slayers Facebook group. Someone posted about it and I was like, what? So I went to go cop it. I can't really say if it works better or worse than the other ones in this collection i would have to literally like try it out like sleep overnight in a wig and like give you guys the tea on it to really know and i've been rocking headband wings all summer so fall i'm just now getting back into wearing my lace fronts i mean i like this spray in general so i think it's gonna work just as well but i'll link it down below in case you're interested in trying it too i'm ready to move on to the havana brown color because i haven't tried that color yet either so i'm excited what Y'all, this is a different wig. <laughs> what is this? Okay. Straight off the bat, putting this on, I was like, wow, this Havana Brown is beautiful. It's kind of weird because on camera, I'm like, is it blending in with me? But when I was in my bathroom, I was like, ooh. So I don't know. I guess it just depends on the lighting, how it looks. Right now, I'm in front of a window and it's overcast. So this is how it's looking. But I still think it's pretty. Let me know what you all think. But the texture is what's really throwing me off because the cream mocha was feeling a little dry, a little rough. But this texture feels awesome. And this is also a unit that's been through some color processing. So yeah, this, this, this this is different this is a stark difference to me when i put my fingers through here also i'm not getting nearly as much shedding as i was in the creamy mocha color i didn't use my blow dry brush at all this is just how it looks straight out the pack this color right here is something i could vouch for for sure i like this unit a lot better in the havana brown and let me tell you the havana brown color is very unique it's like it reminds me of a 33 color y'all know 33 is right before you get to the 30 blonde color but it's not a four it's like in between it's like this reddish color this is what the Havana Brown is giving me and if you look at the individual strands it might be hard to see here but there's definitely a mix of like reds and blondes in here I just oh god Utre, y'all just do color so freaking well you're not gonna find this color in other synthetic wigs you might find something similar but this color the way it is the way i can tell i think havana brown is an exclusive color i'm just blown how this is a totally different way <laughs> i'm confused now i'm wondering like if i would have got this in the number two color would that have been a different texture would that have been more yakky or less or dry I, I gotta look at some reviews because i forgot what britney said in her review and i saw deanna monet dropped one in a natural color i gotta check out what she said because this is a little alarming <laughs> i know that colors can make a difference in texture with synthetic wigs i just wasn't expecting this much of a difference with another color like if this was a 1b number two i would be like okay i get it but since this is another color unit from the same wig i'm like why is it so different <laughs> I like this a lot better. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Also, I want to show y'all my newest lipstick, one of my favorites. This is my first time trying Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Lipstick. And I just love this color so much. It's a beautiful, like, deep red brown. It's like a reddish brown color. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. It's definitely super affordable. Um, Amazon, it was like $5 or something like that. You might be able to get it cheaper in store, but I highly recommend it. I'm not saying it's gonna last 12 hours, but the color payoff is definitely unique for my lipstick collection. By the way, 
I'm thinking of dropping a video featuring some of my favorite lipsticks. Y'all know I don't normally do strict makeup content, but I've been falling back in love with lipsticks now that I've been like stepping out a little bit more. I'm like, yo, I have like over 50 lipsticks. Maybe I should share. Someone out there, I know y'all don't just love hair. Y'all like makeup too. So if that's something you want to see, let me know down below. It'll encourage me to put it out faster. So yes, y'all, this is Katiana. Overall, I definitely recommend you get her in this Havana Brown color. Yes, the hairline is not like up to melted hairline previous standards, but I still think this is a very beautiful unit. The creamy mocha color, ugh, I don't know. I like the color, but texture is also super important to me, so I didn't like the way it felt straight out the pack, and I didn't like all the shedding, and I don't know. Of course, that color blend is super unique, so if you like that blend, you can get it for that specifically, and it'd be cool. But I love the Havana Brown way more straight out the pack. And if you're new here, make sure you tap the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Remember, I'm going live on Amazon for the rest of the year. And for those who are watching in the future, you can still watch the live stream. It'll be linked in my description box. I hope to see you all there. Come kiki with me. And if you want to see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.